Hi my little puffins and welcome to Wishful Wednesday, the day of the week when I am taking your request and drawing what you would like to see. It can be fan art or you just have a request, something you want to see. Uh, this week it is that one weird equestrian who requested to see a water horse, also called a hippocampus. and. I cho chose that one mainly because it had the highest rating and the highest votes but also because I really wanted to draw a hippocampus, a water horse. I haven't really drawn it before I can say but I've always liked them. They are very mysterious creatures and really pretty and they come in so many shapes and sizes and colors and you name it. So. I just went nuts with this one and I really hope that you will like it. I had really fun doing it. I had a little problem with the head's pose, the angle and everything. So I tested here as you can see another pose. I didn't go for it because I didn't really want an angry water horse. So I just skipped that and kept the original sketch and started to line art there. For those who might be wondering uh, what program I'm, I'm using or software, I am always sketching in Photoshop. If, the, if it's digital art, if it's not, then I'm sketching with ordinary pencil, ordinary brush, pencil, paper, you, you know. And when it's digital, I sketch in Photoshop and I have Photoshop CC. And after that, I am doing the line art in Coral Painter. So that's the program I am uh, using currently when you're watching this with the line art because the line arts are much much more smooth and even in Coral Painter compared to uh, Photoshop. So I simply I simply adore that uh, software even more than Photoshop because Photoshop it gets the lines aren't as crisp as I want them compared to Coral Painter, where it became very, very crisp and on point, so to say. <laughs> Here I am starting with the shadowing. I am always quite bored when I'm starting uh, with my shadows in uh, Photoshop because I, I don't really know why but I'm not always so satisfied with my style when it comes to coloring and the sh making the shadows and highlights so I easily get bored in this part uh, sadly. There was a time when I absolutely adored when I came to the coloring part but right now I'm not so fun of it. I feel like my sketching technique and my um, line art technique has gone so much further compared to my coloring technique, the way I'm coloring. So I am not so satisfied with where I am today, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get through this stage and just tell myself it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Not everything has to be perfect, it can be 
a little less perfect sometimes. <laughs> And as you can see, I have drawn everything in grayscale just to color it afterwards. It's much easier for me. And I had a question not long ago why I'm drawing in grayscale and not in color directly. And the reason is you can see lights and shadows and values and everything much better when you're doing it in grayscale. If you do it with color, you will most likely focus on the color, not the shadow or the lights where to place it you will see color at least for me that is how it works but if you do it in grayscale you can just focus to place the shadow and the light where you want it and there is no color which uh, will distract you so that style really works for me since I have a little bit of problem with it so I have found a way to get around it and make it work uh, so that is why I'm mainly drawing in grayscale. I also draw in color, but not so often. I prefer grayscale and then do the colors afterwards. And because it's more, more fun that way, I really like to play around with the layers and the settings. That is the most fun thing about drawing, I think, digital art. It is to just play around in the end and test the values and the saturations and the colors and everything and I really enjoy it that way. So that is why I'm drawing in grayscale. forget to place your votes in the comments down below what you would like to see in the next Wishful Wednesday video which will be up next Wednesday. Go figure. Uh, it can be fan art, it can be requests if you want to see me draw something special. If you want to see traditional art or digital art or mixed media art or anything just comment down below what you would like to see and I will see what I can do.
came to drawing the water so I just made some sloppy water anyways the water is sloppy when you're diving out of it so I just made it very quickly compared to the actual water horse I think this drawing took me about two no three hours no two to three hours you can say I, I believe I think I know that the sketch took me 40 minutes I think so the water maybe 15 minutes or something I think I'm not sure videos you can check out if you want to if you like this video thumbs up I really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe and I hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye my little puffins